Hi, this is Charlie Yarrow um, and I just want to show you a bit of a calming handhold. Um, it involves three points, all of which are really, really beautiful and really, really helpful. Now the very first point is pericardium 9. Now I've coloured mine in on my hand. Um, so it's on the tip of the middle finger um, and that, that point, pericardium 9, is really good for stress release. It's also really good for heartburn, um, sort of when you've got acid here. Um, the second point is pericardium 8. Now, niftily, if you move this middle finger, pericardium 9, you will hit it in the middle of your hand. It's amazing how your body works. Um, so that's the second point I want us to work. Now, pericardium 8 is a lovely point for um, stress and relaxation, um, but it's also really, really good for any problems with your mouth, any infections or mouth ulcers. Um, you can see why I'm suggesting it for chemotherapy. Um, and the third area is actually on your thumb. So it's just above that joint on your thumb. This is your pituitary hypothalamus and pineal gland and um, area. And this is a reflex area as we use in reflexology. Um, and all these glands are super important. Um, hypothalamus and pituitary gland, they sort of control all the hormones in your body between them. Um, and they can quite often become unbalanced when you've been under quite a bit of stress. And the pineal gland um, controls your sleep. So you can understand why that, that's quite important for all for stress and relaxation. But the trick is, we're gonna link them together. Now bear with me, because this isn't the easiest thing to do. So start off with this pericardium nine point and just hold them with both hands together very, very lightly. And hopefully you should get a little bit of a tingle there, a little bit of energy generating. Once you've got that, move that finger, that same finger, down onto pericardium 8. So now you're touching pericardium 9 and pericardium 8. And the third bit is to take this second finger and hold those reflexes for the pituitary hypothalamus and pineal and just rest your finger across. Now, you've got all three areas covered now. It looks quite messy, I know, but you can actually feel it. Now, if you don't get a little tingle, just gently move this finger round on your thumb and you will eventually find the right place. So when you're here, this is super calming. Take some big deep breaths in and out. Um, anytime you're stressed, this is a great thing to do. No one even knows you do it. You can do it under the table. Um, it's great to do in the middle of the night. Um, uh, you know, you can use it when you're waiting for a consultant's appointment, anything like that, or at work. Um, and you should just get a little bit of a tingle. And that is just really relaxing. It's been really helpful to me. Um, give it a go and let me know how you get on.